what's up guys um, been magnet fishing all weekend um, I got this uh, new magnet here um, I'll put a link in the description of where you can buy this magnet so far um, the magnet has been uh, performing very well I have pulled some heavy metal up and some out of some deep water with this magnet um, the only time that I haven't been able to get something up is if it was just just connected to the bedrock and where everything had leached out and I mean you literally you have to you have to slam a rock against some things to get them up it's not the magnet's fault so um, let's uh, let's let's get in close on this magnet and I will show you exactly um, the knot that I use since this is a knot video so let's look at it Alright guys, um, the hardest part of this video, I can go ahead and tell you, was untying that knot. Um, I had to use I had to use both of these to get it untied. Um, so let me show you how to tie this awesome knot. First thing you're going to want to do, go through, go through the eye once, and then come back through. So essentially, all you're doing. Essentially, all you're doing is you're doubling the rope, okay? And I try to keep a gap in there, just like when I'm tying a fishing hook, I keep a gap in there. And then all you're going to do is you're going to tie a double knot. So I always use my um, index finger whenever I come through. I'll loop it in my index finger, and I'll, and I'll reach through like this. I'll come through like that, and then I'll grab it and then I'll pull it through. But I try to get, you gotta get enough loop right here to get the entire object through that loop. Okay, and look at that mess. Looks like a, it looks like a crazy mess, but it's not. You just gotta kinda, what I'll do from here, pull each rope and then I'll pull up. Alright, once you get to this point, the important part is making sure that these aren't crossed. Those are crossed, so I'm going to go in and I'm going to uncross them. A while ago, a while ago, yeah I said a while ago, a second ago, those looked like that. The part that is actually looped around the magnet looked like that. I'll let her zoom in on that. Now I did this on purpose because I wanted to demonstrate what to look for because if, you, if, if they're crossed then the rope what it does is it cuts into itself and it's actually a weaker knot so all you have to do is just look at your knot once you come through with it come in and just get it to where it's flush and then you just cinch it down and to cinch it down what I do is I'll tug on each knot I don't want to get this thing too tight yet because it is such it is so hard to untie but you just you just cinch it down like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna do the knot one more time for y'all up close. All right. That knot is not gonna come undone. And if, if it feels a little loose at first, 
all you have to do come in tie you a knot right here if you're worried about it slipping the only way it can slip is from this end tie you a knot here that if you lose this magnet it's going to be because um, the eye bolt comes off or it's going to be because uh, you didn't tie your rope to you you screw the eye bolt in um, put you some uh, Loctite in there with it and then it's, it'll, it'll essentially become one piece hey guys I, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video I just happened to also be a bass fisherman in the past I had to learn knots so and this is my favorite fishing knot because it makes the um, it, it actually makes your rope twice as strong as it as it is really so um, hope you like the video um, I'm gonna have a lot of magnet fishing videos coming up in the future, so like, share, subscribe to the channel if you like this video. For the people who have been subscribed to my channel, you know, you know what to expect. I'm, I'm always out in it doing something, deer hunting, bass fishing, magnet fishing, metal detecting, herping, mushrooming. If I'm not doing something, it's because I hadn't, I hadn't heard about it yet. So, the more people that like the videos and share the videos, the better the channel does. Y'all have a good night. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this thing where my dad found the flintlock and. I'm gonna try to find the rest of that gun.